And I make this point for a reason, gang. Because I've been guilty of it myself. I didn't raise my hand and say, I'll go to Minot, North Dakota, when the call came, who will go to Minot? It was more like, here I am, Lord, send him. It was one of those deals. And a lot of people come here, and I even say this for you Air Force types, say, well, you know, it's, there's nothing here. I can't go to the beach. I can't do this. I can't do all the things I used to do. I can't go to Torrey Pine State Park anymore. It was never about that. God's got you here because there are sinners here, and He loves them. And I understand that you're missile maintainers, and some of you are working in the oil fields, and some of you aren't working at all. And It was never really about the work. It's about the people that you work with. God's plan is always about people. It's not about geography. And that's why God will go through incredible expenditures to send one man to meet one man. But if that one man comes to faith, is an 80-mile trip on foot worth it? Absolutely. And so often we get our, our focus taken away. It's, oh, it's, it's, you know, I don't have this and I don't have that. And it's so stinking cold here. God didn't send you to mine out so you could feel what it 25 below zero feels like. That's not why he sent you here. That's just, you know, that's just a little gravy. That's all that is. But the real reason is that there are people here who need to hear the gospel, who need to know that there's a God who loves them. It's not about making 100 grand a year or 20 grand a year or having a big house or a little house. It's not about how many restaurants we have in town. It's always about people. 